Hey everyone. This is circulated 1983 Lincoln cent struck on a wrong planchet. The typical 1983 cent is copper plated zinc and weighs 2.5 grams. A transitional alloy mint error akin to its more famous 1943 bronze predecessor. A possible explanation is that a copper planchet became wedged in a hopper or mint cart during early 1982, and was finally dislodged the following year. A lightly circulated and moderately abraded mint green and chocolate brown example. Luster illuminates the legends. It ended up selling for $16,450 at heritage auctions. Here is 1982p Washington quarter at Mint State 68. Only two coins had been certified by PCGS in this condition. They are extremely rare. Radiant pearl gray surfaces are fully struck and effectively flawless with occasional powder blue and tan accents. So this superb gem ended up selling for $10,200 in 2019 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar from Special Mint Set. So-called SMS Half Dollar. Rare issue from the series. The 1964 Special Mint Set Kennedy Half Dollar is far and away the rarest issue in the series, a coveted coin with an enigmatic history. The 1964 SMS cents through half dollars might more accurately be called SMS finished coins than true SMS coins, as they were not the product of official sets. In fact, the numismatic public was unaware of their existence until the early 1990s, when groups of the coins began appearing in Stax auction catalogs. This piece is likely the fourth or fifth finest example known, according to current knowledge of the grades of known specimens. It displays brilliant, luminous surfaces and razor-sharp detail, with myriad dye-polished lines throughout the fields that are further characteristic of the SMS dyes. Sold on May 5, 2022 for $48,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1961 Proof Franklin Half Dollar at PR69 grade with deep cameo designation. The 1961 Franklin Half Dollar Proof, in PR69 deep cameo, is a great rarity and an item of unsurpassed desirability among registry set collectors. At both services, these pieces are the finest known. The present coin offers frost white luster on the pristine devices, which seem to float atop of the liquid-like mirroring of the fields, which are devoid of toning. Sold on January 4, 2018 for $40,800 at Heritage Auction. This is amazing double denomination cent and dime mule. 1995 dime cent struck with Lincoln cent obverse die. Graded at Mint State 64 by NGC. An astounding mint error that prior to the 1990s was believed impossible to occur. Only the narrow difference in dye diameter between the cent and dime makes it plausible that a busy mint worker could erroneously pair dyes of different denominations. The obverse is only a partial rim. In God we trust in the L and Liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in diameter than the cent die. Sold on January 7, 2010 for $57,500. And this is extremely rare error dime 1975 no s roosevelt dime at pr 68 grade with only two examples traces the finest known listed in first place in the third edition of the 100 greatest u.s modern coins the 1975 no s proof roosevelt dime is one of the rarest issues in all of american coinage on obverse of this numismatic pinnacle the mint mark standing for san francisco mint is missing while all the dyes were manufactured in Philadelphia, the proof dyes were actually polished to impart the proof finish in San Francisco. It seems that one of the dyes with no midmark, intended for business strike production, was accidentally polished up, along with the proof dyes, and used to strike a small run of proof dimes before the mistake was noticed. The San Francisco mint has been tight-lipped on this subject, but quality control must have been excellent that year, as it seems that only two no-s dimes escaped detection and were released with the regular proof sets. Any other no s dimes that were struck must have been detected and destroyed before leaving the mint. This highly elusive gem was sold for $456,000 at Heritage Auctions.